started it at eight. I said, see if that would. And I, you know, because we have, we, you know, how they when they don't do something, then it's an issue. So I thought, well, if I did it in the other direction and it worked, you know. So sometimes that's, you know. That's yeah, because that's a three loop serpentine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, put him to work. Let me see him go for a minute. Right, they're taking off in quick succession. Right, just go large, will you? And now change the rain. You're dead right, I am. I got it. Yep, I think so. Um, just have a canter, will you? All right, just uh, bring him over here, will you, Deb? Well, now, supposing I were to tell you that he was under tracking by about that much. Oh, I, I know. He's not. Uh... So, what are you going to do about it? Push. You've got to get him more forward. Is that in the trot or the in the trot, yeah. in everything, right. okay? You've got to ride him much more forward. Um, and if you ask, you know, if you, I mean, I asked you to canter basically as I wanted to get you more forward, but it didn't work because he's so, so flat that when you ask for canter, he just hollowed out. So we've got to get him a lot more forward before we can get him round enough, okay? So pick up the reins. And just correct him in the walk. Just push him together. And shorten your reins a little bit more yet. 
And now trot. Now hold the outside rein. Hold it. Push him. Push him. Legs. 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 And it'll tap the stick. Forward. Forward. That's it. Posting. Don't want you sitting till you've got his back up. That's it. It's too much bend in the neck. Hold the outside rein. Push him. That's better. Good. And go large. And walk. And trot. Forward. Push. And now change the rein. <clears throat> Good. And circle. And forward to walk. And trot. And tap the stick. Come on. Forward. 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 That's it. Just put your stick into your right hand. And tap the stick. Push him. Push him. Bend him, push him. <clears throat> and now canter. <clears throat> On forward, forward, now bend him to the right, hold the outside rein, <clears throat> keep your hands together, and canter, go. And now forward to trot and canter. So now, what's complicated about this? He doesn't want to stay on the very tight um, Just bring him over here a minute. <clears throat> That's right. Well, I can only talk about what I see today. Right. Okay? You have to ride the horse you've got today. Right. Not the one you had yesterday. Now, you have, when you go to the left, you have a massive bend in his neck. And even going down the long side, you kept a massive bend in his neck. When you go to the right, you have no bend, p 
period. We've been working on that a lot. Well, not enough, obviously. Nope. You've got to bend him. It. Now, first of all, we've established that he's not forward. What does that word actually mean to you? Forward is basically a mindset. The horse demonstrating a desire to go forward. So he should be taking you rather than you having to push him. And if he's not forward, you have got to really get on his case to make it happen. Now the next most important characteristic is that he is straight. Now, <clears throat> what does that mean to you, straight? Just one minute. It's got to be that time of day. They're all taking off, one after the other in quick succession. So, again, what does it mean to you? Um, actually, it shouldn't mean that his neck is straight. It should mean that the hind feet are following directly in the track of the front feet. Question is, how do we achieve that? Well, to the left I have to counter flex, and to the right I have to use a lot of leg to get him to bend. Because that's all, he's always been that way. He's always overbent one way and underbent the other. We've been working on that a long time. Are you right-handed or left? Well, in that case, you, you have the advantage. You should be able to bend him to the right. Oh, we can get it, I promise. <laughs> I mean, from the get-go. I mean, from the get-go. And uh, bottom line is that he is, you don't have to counter-flex him going to, the, going to the left, but you do have to prevent him from bending in his neck and that becoming an evasion because he bulges through your outside rein and therefore falls onto the outside shoulder. So he's absolutely not balanced, okay? And the way you achieve straightness is to have his spinal column parallel to the track of his movement. So pole to croup. And so if you overflex his neck or allow him to overflex his neck, then he's not going to be parallel to the track of his movement. So he's going to fall to the outside. If, when you go the other way, to the right, he is bent to the outside or not flexed a little bit to the inside, he is still not going to be straight, is he? No. Do you see what I mean? Right. Now, you've got to get much more effective with your right leg. Much, much more, so that you can make this happen. You have to feel that not only are you getting him to go forward properly from your right leg, but also that you bend him around it. Okay? It's got to happen. Must happen. So, let's walk him on. Now, close your fingers on the rein. So, your fingers are open. Now, you can't keep a proper contact on the right rein with your fingers open. That's it. Now, make his neck straight. That's it. And now, trot. Go. <coughs> yeah. And now, trot. Hold the outside rein. Hold it. Hold it. Push. Push. Hold the outside rein. Close the outside rein. Close your fingers. Shorten your right rein. Don't let him bend his neck. That's it. Now walk. And now trot. No. Kick him. Kick him. Come on. Kick him. Make him work. Now why, do you make, why are you bending his neck? Don't let him bend his neck. Push. 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 That's it. Push him. Forward. Forward. Yes. Now check your posting diagonal. That's it. And forward to walk. Now. And trot. Now. Forward. 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 That's it. Good. Much better. Squeeze the right rein. Don't let him bend his neck too much. Push him. Push him. Keep your hand down and still. Fingers closed. 
<clears throat> go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. There. Good. Now change the rein on the short diagonal. Push, push, push. That's it. And then at B, turn right. Bend him. Come on, lay inside leg. Kick him. Bend him. Bend him around your inside leg. Push him. That's it. Push him. Yes. And bend him. Push him. Make it happen. There you go. Put your stick in your right hand. Now a little tap tap with the stick. Forward, forward, forward. Come on, push. Don't pull, push. That's it, now bend him. Come on, bend him to the right. That's it. There you go. Bend him to the right. Leg, leg, stick, whatever. Send him forward. That's it. Send him forward. Bend him to the right. Push him. Good. That's it. That's the way. Go on, go on, go on. Keep him going. Send him forward. Keep him going. He's going slower and slower and slower. Come on. Send him forward. Bend him. Eh, uh, yes. Come on, you can do it. Now you must make it happen. Good. And now canter. Hands together, together. Don't straighten your arms. Keep your elbows bent. Keep your hands together. Now canter. Go. That's it. Forward. Inside leg. Push. Push. Now you're leaning too far back and your lower leg is going way forward. That's it. Use your leg. Push him. Bend him. Push him. And trot. And canter. Go. Right now. Yeah. That's it. You've got to make lots of transitions to get him to think forward. Come on, legs, give me a kick. Give me a kick. Come on, give me a kick. Yeah, good job. Now trot. Now canter. Bend him. Push him. Get your lower leg back a little bit. That's it. Bend him to the right. Come on, bend him to the, not to the outside. Bend him to the right. Come on, legs, legs, kick on, come on, kick on. Canter. Now hold the outside rein, but you must bend him. There. Good. Forward, forward. That's the way. Good. And now ride him forward to trot. Go on, forward, forward, forward. You didn't ask him to trot. Canter. Legs, legs, legs. Don't pull on him. Push him. Forward. And now forward to trot. <clears throat> push, push. That's it. Posting. Leg, leg. Shorten your reins a little bit. Bend him. Bend him. Bend him. Come on. More. Bend him more. 
That's it. So you push him into the outside rein. There, good job. So bend him. Mean it. Push, push, push. That's it. Leg, leg. So your hand must not overpower your leg. And now ride him forward to walk. Good. Right, just take a breather for a minute. <clears throat> now, who's working for who right now? I said, who's working for who? I guess I'm working for it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely you are. But you're still not working hard enough to get him to, to, to work. But you've got to get him to the point. You've got to get him to the point where he is working for you. That's the bottom line. Okay? He's, he's basically very lazy. And he shouldn't be. It's a mindset. And if you insist on him being forward all the time, then he will be forward. So it's a habit thing. Now, just um, walk him on a circle, pick up the reins, put your stick into your right hand. That's it. There. Good. Now keep him that round. Very quick to soften your hand when he gives. Now take him up the long side and head to the wall leg yield. Now don't let him slow down. Come on. Keep him going. Tap with the stick. 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 Keep your hands right down. Quicker. Quicker off the leg. Quicker altogether. That's it. Squeeze the right rein. Give him the soften to your right hand. Now get the hind quarters over. Get the right hind over. Get it over. Come on. Get it over. Make him use it. That's it. Yes. Yes. That's the way. Come on. Quicker. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Yes. Okay. <coughs> and now trot. <coughs> <coughs> Good. And now walk. And now trot. Forward, forward. Don't let him bend to the left. There. And now walk. Don't let him bend to the left on the long side. And then once again, the head to the wall, leg yield. I want to see him much quicker off the leg, okay? Go on, go on, go on, go on. That's it. Go on. Now sit still. Don't lean, don't lean to the right. That's it. Quicker off the leg yet. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Yep. Come on. A little more yet. Good. Quicker. And now take him out of it. And trot. And now posting. Posting. Push, push, push. Good. Now make a shallow loop. Now bend him to the right in the loop. Bend him. Bend him. Bend him. Still not bending to the right. 
That's it. Don't let him bend so much to the left. Good. And now forward to walk. And now the head to the wall, leg yield. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it going. Squeeze the right rein. And then just catch the left shoulder and then soften the left hand. Forward. Good. Keep it going. Come on. Keep it going. And then soften your left hand when he gives to you. Squeeze the right rein. Get the soft and right hand. Now get the right hind leg over. Get it over. Get it over. Yeah. Right. Now straighten him. Now don't bend him. Don't let him bend to the left. Push him. And now trot. Bending his neck too much. Forward, forward, make a circle. Push him. Squeeze the right rein. There. Now canter. That's the way. Hold it together. Good. Keep his shoulders turning. That's it. Good. Squeeze the right rein. Keep him rounder. There. Good job. A little deeper, a little rounder, it's a little more over his back yet, so that you don't get that rocking feel. That's it, outside rein, push him, push him. Now don't pull on him, push him. See, when you felt that little resistance, you should have used more leg, not shortened your reins. And now trot. Go on, go on, go on. Posting, make him work. Come on, make him work. Good. That's it. Good. And now forward to walk. And once again, the head to the wall, leg yield. I get him much quicker off the leg yet. Now don't lean back and stiffen. Don't stiffen against him. Come, push the right hind leg over. Push it over. Push it over. Mean it. Come on. Come on. Little tap, tap, tap with the stick. That's it. Push the right hind leg over. Push it over. Yes. Good. Now squeeze the right rein. Get him to, get him to soften and then give back. Right. Take him out of it and trot. Good. That's the way. Well done. This is better. And now walk him. Yes. Now, um, tell me. Do you know what I mean by a shoulder out? Um, it's not around there, so... No, it's not around there. Out. I was watching you do that with somebody uh, doing it. Okay. So, you're making a right shoulder in, even though you're going up the long side to the left, on the left rein. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So he's bent a little bit to the outside. All right? That's what I want you to do next. The haunches come to the inside a little bit because the shoulders stay in the track. So it's a little different than a shoulder. It's a shoulder out. Shoulder out. It's the same movement. Then the but, it, but it's the, no, it's not the same as the haunches in. Well, instead of, I mean, it sounds real. The haunches in, he would be bent to the left, wouldn't he? Mm -hmm. Okay. In the shoulder out going to the left, he'll be bent to the right. Got that? That's it. Now, just make a shoulder out now. Bend him to the right. Push the, heart, push the right hand in a little bit. There. Bend him to the right. That's it. And then soften your right hand. 
That's it. Bend him to the right. Go and use your right leg. There you go. Get the right hand under him. Right. Now straighten him. Sit now, trot. Forward. Come and keep him forward. Good. Now make a shoulder out. Shoulder out. That's it. Get the right hand under him. There. There. That's the way. Good. Keep him forward. Now straighten him. Now lengthen his trot on the circle. Go. 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 Forward. Forward. Lengthen his trot on the circle. Go. Go. And now bring him back. Forward, push, push. Now make shoulder out on the long side. Bend him right. Use your right leg. Push the right hand under him. There. Bend him. Then soften your right hand. Well done. Good. Little rounder still. Now straighten him. Now canter on a circle. Did hold the outside rein. That's right. And now forward to trot. And make shoulder out. Go large. Forward, forward, push, push, push. Good. Then soften your right hand. Get him round. That's it. <coughs> now straighten him and lengthen his trot on the circle. <coughs> Come on. Come on. More. Yes. Better. And now bring him back. Well done. Much better. And again, shoulder out. Posting. Push, push. Bend him. Bend him to the right. <coughs> Good. That's it. And now lengthen his trot on the circle. Big trot. Come on. Really forward. That's the way. Go on. Push, push, push. Well done. Now bring him back. Push him together. And make shoulder out on the long side. Posting. Round up. Push him into the left rein. That's it. Good. Soft right hand. Be very quick to give back when he gives to you. Good. Now straighten and canter. Hold the outside rein. You see you're letting him bend his neck too much. So he couldn't canter. That's the way. Now try not to lean back and stiffen against him. And hold the outside rein. Bend him to the right. That's it. There. Now bend him to the right a little bit. Keep his shoulders turning. Don't let him fall off the circle. Push. Push. Now straighten him. Don't let him bend. Just straighten him. Keep his shoulders turning. There you go. Well done. Uh, yes, ah, that's right. Okay, just walk a minute. I What's that? I squeezed when I should have pushed. <laughs> Go on, forward, send him forward. That's it. Keep him walking. Keep him walking. Make the walk active. You see, it's still a working gait. 
That's right. All right. And now pick up the reins. That's it. Really get him round now. Keep him straight. Make him straight. Squeeze the right rein. There. Forward. 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 Come on. Forward. Come on. Use your legs. You've really got to keep the engine working. You think about your hands. You don't think about your legs. You think about what his head and neck is doing. You don't think about what his engine is doing. Now turn right. That's it. Good. And now trot. And now make a shoulder in. Bend him. Bend him around your right leg. Bend him. That's it. He's still not bent to the right. Push, push, push. There. Well done. Good. Forward, forward. That's it. Now canter. That's it. Little bend to the right. Make a circle. There. Good. And now trot into shoulder in. Posting. Keep him going. Leg, leg. Squeeze the right rein. Bend him. Then soften your right hand when he gives. That's it. Push, push. And now lengthen his trot into a circle. Big trot. Come on. Forward, 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 forward. Bend him. There. There we go. And now bring him back. Continue posting. And make a shoulder in again. Good. Push him into the outside rein. Bend him, soften the inside hand, keep his inside hind leg working. We'll tap the stick, keep the inside hind leg working. There we go. And now canter. That's it. Bend him, push him. Good. And circle. That's the way. Now try not to lean back. Don't let your, your lower leg swing forward. Use your leg. That's it. Good. And trot into shoulder in. Push, push, posting. See, when you sit, he drops his back at the moment. Use your leg. Push him forward. Shorten your reins a little bit. And now... Lengthen his trot, posting on a circle. Push, push. <coughs> there. Go on, bigger trot. That's it. Good. Now continue the lengthening onto the long side. Give him stretching over his top line. Don't let him bend to the left. Now bring him back. Push together. Bend him. Bend him. Bend to the right. That's right. Yeah. See, he's starting to go now, isn't he? Bend him. Come on. That's it. There. There. And now ride him forward to walk. 
Right, give him a long rein. Now, Deb, that is the minimum acceptable, even for training level. He's got to be that forward. Do you hear me? And if you sit to his trot before you've got him round, he simply drops his back. And then he doesn't stay round, he doesn't stay forward. So you really, really need to take that to heart and, and uh, teach him the work ethic. He thinks he's there for a decoration right now. And as your pet. He ain't no pet. That's what happened. I kind of, he had a good one when I got him. He came from a dressage instructor. He worked hard. Well, you must keep him working hard. Yeah. He needs to work for you, not you for him. Got it? You've got some homework to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, well done.